Hey folks, how's it going? I hope you are. Welcome to this video. Um, today I am, well, it's another haul, but it's uh, a haul and a build, hopefully. Uh, so I was watching Brick Chain's channel the other day and he was, uh, he pulled out one of his uh, My Own Trains. This is just a small, it's a, called a freight wagon, um, set 10013. And uh, he built the set. It's just a, it's a fairly basic set. And I looked at it and I thought, okay, that's actually should be quite easy to piece together. Um, so I had a look on Bricklink, um, went looking, um, and the original uh, freight wagon is blue. It comes in blue and it's sort of blue and black. Um, I looked at blue pieces. They were a little bit more expensive uh, than I thought they would be. So I've changed some of the coloring to red, but I've got the haul here. Um, I've got some other stuff as well, but we'll go through the haul. Um, and I thought I could piece these together quite easily. It's not going to be exact. It's not going to be sort of, uh, I'm not parting together the exact set, the exact set uh, but I will be parting together something based on that. It's just going to be a different color probably. Um, so first of all, I got a bunch of these and these were the most expensive part that basically is, uh, is needed for it. And they are six by uh, uh, sort of six, I think they're six stud bars or something. They're sort of patio umbrella um, stand pole things. So that was the first thing. So I got um, this haul, uh, this, this store sold me 19 of those. So, and then I also got from another store, um, there's three there. And then we have another nine there because I got 12 from that one. So I've got 12. So those parts I have enough for uh, three freight wagons with the parts there. And then um, also from another store. Now I've opened all these prior to doing this because um, I needed to make sure, I needed to check the orders and, uh, and make sure I, I changed the state in uh, Bricklink. So that's why all of these are open. Um, so I needed some four by four square plates. So I've got those. And also I needed, and I think these were the parts that ended up being rather expensive. It's the one by two bricks with the grids, sort of like the grates in them. Um, so, and they were expensive in blue, I think. So that's when I went looking for red. Um, another thing I got, uh, the original ones that used uh, in the My Own Train, the bogey plates. Now they are normally black, but the black ones are expensive. So I've gone for yellow. Yellow is, uh, is pretty acceptable, I think, for me. Um, I just bought a bunch of them. There's 16 there, so I've got plenty for other carriages and things like that, but, uh, so I've got those. Um, and also, oh, right, I got a, I got the glittery stag um, to go with my otter and rabbit. I saw that in the store where I bought a bunch of these, which is Fred one by two, I think they're modified bricks and they've just got clips. So all these pieces help towards building um, the freight wagon, but it, just in a different color. Another thing I got as well, and I have another one that is in a house somewhere, but I also got another, I got a, it says uh, a sig fig, uh, not a sig fig, a minifigure from the collectible minifigures series 15. And it has a, a pig, another pig, but this one has a pattern on it. Um, I do have another one of these, so we've got one pig with a pattern and it's to go with my other ones. I've got, I think I've got a bunch of pigs in some freight cars and stuff like that. So, so there you go, there's the haul. So now I'm going to uh, put together, or now I'm going to try and put a freight wagon together and see how far I get. I think I've got some pieces missing or I can try and put some different colors, but in order to make three or four of these, each freight wagon needs 10 of these um, patio bar things. So I can only make three really at the moment, but I'll try and make one. And then, uh, so we'll uh, skip to a time lapse and then end of the video, I should have uh, one of these freight wagons, albeit in a slightly different color to the originals. If you're not aware of Brick Train's channel, then go and check him out. I'll put a link down below and there's a link in the cards as well. It's definitely worth a look. It, um, he has some really interesting sets 
Uh, hopefully he's going to do a series on uh, just doing the My Own Train stuff and go through that and all the different sets. I think he has a complete collection of those as well, which is really cool. So uh, yeah, check him out. Okay, so that was the build. Now, there are some notable differences between this uh, freight wagon and the uh, original My Own Train wagon, other than the colors. The, uh, the first one is the plate used um, that I've used. This is a 28 stud long plate, whereas the My Own Train uses a 24 stud. So this is actually longer. So instead of um, five of these sort of uh, patio stand bars on each side, my version has six. Yeah, so my version is uh, four studs longer and therefore slightly longer. The other thing is um, the color scheme is not going to stay like this. Um, I'm going to change these two end pieces out for the dark gray and I'm also going to change the plates, the one by three, one by, I've got one by eight and one by six plates along there. I'll change those for gray as well and the chain, I only have one of those at the moment that I can find, um, that will be swapped out for a light bluish gray. Now, whilst I was uh, going through the build process and looking for various different parts, um, A, I don't have any of these ladder pieces, so I went looking for the ladder pieces, but I also found that there are two types of bar pieces, like the patio piece here. Um, this is, this must be the older type of piece, which is a 6.6 6 length bar, but there is a newer type, which is a 6, um, which is a, a, it says length 6 or something, or L6 or something, which I'm assuming is a sort of 6. Let's have a look. That's a six. So yeah, this is just over, this is just over six studs long. So there are actually some six long bars, which there are way more of those than uh, the 6.6 6 uh, 6 .6 long bars. There are uh, the, uh, obviously these are the newer type, I think they must be the newer type. Um, and there's a lot more out there than uh, available. So therefore they're a lot cheaper. Um, so. Lots of them, a bit like Brig Train's dad jokes, but um, a lot cheaper. So basically the red pieces I found were cheaper than the blue pieces um, for the side. And these length six bars are cheaper than the 6.6 .6 length bars. Um, but yeah, I'll change the colors eventually. I did skip one part, which is there's supposed to be two sort of um, uh, modified bricks with studs pointing out and there's, and then on top of that goes a, uh, tile which then has some chevrons on it. I don't have those chevron pieces. I don't have that chevron piece so I will leave it like that. Maybe at some point I'll find something else to sort of make it a look a little bit more, uh, I don't know, put chevrons on just to make it look a little bit more um, I don't know, industrial or something. But that's the first build. Now one thing I haven't done is put anything in the middle here just under these. So I will do that at some point as well. I'm going to add that but that's essentially a cheap version of a sort of my own train inspired build. And I can build, hopefully I'll build sort of like four to six of these and then it means there's sort of like a, a decent number. Actually, I don't know if I can do four to six. I'll need to buy more of these red, red gray pieces. So maybe I can do another, at least another one anyway with the parts I've got kind of. And then uh, I have ordered some more pieces from Bricklink um, just to finish this off in the colors that I want to do it now. Uh, now I've started building it and I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll finish it. But uh, it's it's pretty good. I've ordered some chains, some uh, the dark bluish gray plates and uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, and the um, I've, I've ordered some six long bars as well just to try those out. So, so there you go. If you want to build a sort of a my own train inspired freight wagon, then this is a good option. If you're not fussed about just not having, well, I don't know, I suppose it's not a my own train anyway, if you've pieced it together anyway, if you're, you know, I'm, I'm not that fussed about owning kits at the moment or sets. Um, and this is quite a simple build compared to the carriages that I've been doing. Um, this is quite a simple build and I can put this together so uh, quite easily. Um, and it's a, a shorter build as well, which is quite good. So there you go. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. And I'd like to say thanks to Brick Trains, Joey Jones, for posting his video. It was really good. Uh, um, it was a really simple build. If Lego could just do simple bits of rolling stock like this, I'm sure there'd be a market for them now. There really would be. There could be, you know, it's an official set. They would release it. But 
this isn't a complicated build. They could, yeah, it doesn't have to be anything major, does it really? They could do some fancy stuff like brick mail, a model railroader and stuff that looks really, really realistic. Or they could just give us some simple stuff like this and uh, yeah, put it in a box and there'd be plenty of people to buy it, I'm sure. But this is a really nice little build. I really uh, enjoyed it. It's quite nice. And once I've got a few of these, then it's going to look good on the railway. Um, it will. I will do a layout update at some point. Um, I am trying to tidy things up, and we've still got work on the house and everything, and babies and lots of things going busy. But uh, it's all it's all good fun anyway. But yeah, it's trying to plan everything as well and and go through the uh, the vault or the the pile of shame, as I heard it called at some point. But some of this is uh, yeah, it, it should be quite good to look through through the vault anyway and remind myself what is in there because some of it is like a collection and some of it is uh is just stuff i bought for videos that never got made so uh yeah anyway um i hope you've enjoyed this video um give it the thumbs up and click subscribe if you haven't already and uh yeah i will see you in the next one